Hi, I'm Jim Grouch of Metenge Proprietary Limited, and in this short video, I want to demonstrate some of the charting and data analysis capabilities that you get with LearnMetSim, and, and particularly in using a couple of my functions in the MetSim Extensions workspace. So I'll start um, LearnMetSim, which of course is LearnAPL for MetSim users, and then I will load the XMetSim workspace, which is my development workspace. Then I'll list the functions in the workspace using the APL command FNS, which and the indicator that you're starting an APL command is the close round bracket. So FNS is a list of functions, and we can see the functions in this workspace at the moment. What I want to do is show you some chart examples. So I have a function called sum chart examples. And all this does is call a function within LearnMetSim or LearnAPL, which provides a listing and an example of 99. I was going to say approximately 100 but actually exactly 99 different charts. And what we see for each of these is an example of the chart. And if I just drag up um, the divider here a bit, and we can see the code that's required to build that chart. So I'm just going to um, drag that down a bit so we can, we can still see a bit of the code at the bottom and we can see the chart that it um, that it generates. I'm just going to come down through the listing of these um, of these chart examples and you'll be able to see um, the, the, the variety of charts types and the level of detail that can be um, can be achieved by using the inbuilt um, charting capabilities in Learn medicine. Some of these are, are quite sophisticated, um, highly specialized, particularly specifically for scientific data analysis. And I hope that you can see that um, the charting capabilities in, in Learn Medicine, uh, which is all written in APL, um, is way beyond what we engineers are normally um, used to in our Microsoft Excel bread and butter office application. So we're down to, to 49. You can see that there can be multiple charts on the same form. Um, I, particularly, I particularly like these surface and surface uh, fitting charts with um, curve fitting and the 3D tower charts which I particularly like to use for um, elemental distributions by size etc. Ternary um, compositional charts, vectors, various sorts of uh, diagrams. Now each of these Charts simply requires modification of some of the code in a standard charting function. And so the code that we see for each of these charts is the code that you need to put into a shell function for creating these charts. I'm going to stop this video now, but next <clears throat> I'll, be, I'll be showing you a simple way to create the code for a chart um, so that you, with no programming, APL programming knowledge whatsoever, um, what what has been provided in, in Learn Medicine or Learn APL for Medicine is a chart code builder. So we'll look at that next. Thank you very much for your time.